Hello. Today, we're styling a few outfits. personal style journal and in this journal I have a running list of outfit combinations that pop into my head usually at the very inconvenient time of trying to fall asleep and I thought today we might try to style some of them and so I have picked three outfit combos uh, in this book and we're gonna style them and see whether or not they come out as great as they are in my head all right so first combination i'm going to be holding the microphone like this because i'll be switching in and out of outfits it's just easier so first combination um the cardigan is express the slacks are express and then the this is a merino wool t-shirt this is from pendleton um since i had grays throughout most of the outfit i wanted that pop of color uh, because i think that this kind of these berry garnets colors jewel tones look really nice with with gray in my opinion and then I went ahead and put on my pointed toe flats it is still too cold really to wear this out but I think a cooler spring day would um this would suffice um and then to pull from the black in the shoe I went ahead and added my black watch this is from movement MVMT. Um, I've had it for, I think, four years now. Not sure whether or not they still have it, but it's a nice black on black watch, which I had been looking for something like this for quite some time. And then I am wearing my mom's gray pearls. And I just thought... Oh, and I kept the necklace on. My mom gave me this. Um, I was testing out more statement necklaces, and I thought the flash of silver was nice against the the gray. I'm trying to find my pocket <laughs> against the gray and this kind of berry tone. So I actually quite like it. It's rather simple. Uh, not nothing terribly revolutionary but that really isn't what I'm looking for for in my personal style I'm not looking to reinvent the wheel I just want to find clothes that I'm comfortable in in that I can I don't have to think too much about especially if I'm in a hurry and need to be somewhere quick I simple simple and to the point. And I think this is a great fall or chilly spring outfit. Uh, you guys let me know which one uh, in the comments below, which of the three outfits you guys like the most. So next combination. All right, next combination. Um, so it was specifically this sweater i mean everything the jeans the boots in my head that's that's how i saw it and i like it i think that the denim could possibly be an inch or two longer to go with the boots um 
These are from DSW. I think they're from Naturalizer. And then the denim is originally Anchor Blue, but I thrifted these. And then this gorgeous sweater is from Silk Mason. I'm sorry, not Silk Mason, Lily Silk. Um, and I love this sweater. It is the softest, it is the softest thing. Um, I saw a YouTuber, I cannot remember who it was. If I can remember who it was, I will put their channel down below, but they showed this nifty turtleneck trick where instead of rolling it under so you see the seam or the uh, the top of the, the turtleneck, you just tuck it under and you get this really seamless look. And uh, never thought to, to try that with any of my turtlenecks before. So fun hack. Um, I am wearing this watch from Fossil. It is, gosh, I've had this almost 10 years, I think. It's um, one of my favorite watches because I, I had to find it. I saw it in a magazine ad years ago and I, I was like, I need to have that watch. It's gorgeous. And then to add kind of or to play off of this pattern and the kind of texture it brings to the sweater. I also added a chunkier hoop. I don't know if you're going to be able to see those. And those, again, like most of my jewelry, was gifted by my mother. So this is the outcome. I like the slouchiness of the jeans. That's why I buy men's jeans. Um, Again, they're they're pretty short to to be pairing with this pair of shoes, but I like the look. I, I would wear it again. Um, I probably try to find jeans that are a little bit longer, uh, but other than that, I think I think it turned out quite nice. So that is the second outfit. Again, you guys, let me know uh, which one's your favorite in the comments down below. And on to the next. And last combination. I have had these like beige slacks for 20 years and I rarely wear them. Um, I've had them tailored. They were longer and had a more straight fit. And I just, I don't know. I don't know why I don't style them more often. Um, so that is a challenge that I'm giving myself this year to wear these more. Uh, and I wanted to know how they'd look with my oversized navy sweater. Um, this is a cashmere sweater that my parents bought for me as an early Christmas present two years ago, three years ago, from a vintage shop. And the Slacks are from Express. The brogues, pretty sure that's what they're called, are thrifted. I've had these for forever. Uh, one of my favorite pairs of shoes. And had I known that they were going to be one of my favorite pairs, there were several pairs at the thrift store. I should have grabbed another another because when these fall apart, I'm going to be so, so very sad. But I wanted to see how these cooler toned beige slacks would go with a, a richer brown in this navy. And I don't hate it. Um, I mean, how can you hate neutrals, right? It's, it's, a, it's a neutral. Um, I don't know. I've styled it with uh, this necklace, which was a university graduation gift from my parents. And then these were Christmas present two years ago, I believe, these earrings. No watch. Um, am I missing anything? I don't think so. But yeah, I don't know about it. I don't know how I feel. Again, uh, I feel that in my wardrobe, navy goes with nearly everything in my closet. Um, 
I think it's just the color of the slacks. They're a cool to neutral beige. And I know I don't like this color necessarily up near my face because uh, it washes me out. But I don't think it should be a problem as slacks or pants or, or bottom because my skirt, the one I talked about last week that has the corset detailing in it, um, also from Express, is the same color. And I like the way that looks on me. So a conundrum. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to play with them more, style them more with different things and see how I feel. I mean, they've been in my closet for two decades, so I should really be able to make them work. And if not, then by the end of the year, that kind of tells me that it's time to let them go. Um, but yeah, expect to see these again um, because I, I really want to get use out of everything in my closet. And there are a few things that I've had for several years that I just do not reach for because I have a hard time styling them. So this is the last combination. One more time, leave a comment down below letting me know which one's your favorite. And thank you again for all the comments that have been comments that have been left under my recent videos. I'm glad that everybody seems to be enjoying them. Um, if you've liked this video, I hope to have more of them in the future. That list that I was talking about, it's a long one and I'm constantly adding new things. So I'll have plenty of styling opportunities. Uh, so if you like this video and would like to see more similar videos, please hit that like button. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my face and have perhaps seen a few of my videos and have enjoyed them, please consider subscribing. And I really hope that as the, the channel continues to grow, that we'll be able to I don't know, create this little community of personal style enthusiasts that can help each other out in the comments if anybody is having styling issues or you have things in your closet that you haven't styled in forever because, or at all, things that have tags on them uh, because you're having a difficult time styling them, please let us know down below and maybe as a team we can all find um, ways to help those things fit into your personal style and to work for you so that we can uh, all have very unique and fun closets that we enjoy stepping into and looking at and dressing ourselves in ways that make us feel confident and awesome. So thank you again, you guys, for coming and seeing my videos every week. And next um, video should be... Oh, I don't know. I think it might be a Pinterest inspired, maybe another <laughs> styling video ish. We'll see. I have a few ideas in my head and I'm not quite sure which one's going to be coming out next. So stick around, stay tuned until next time. I look forward to seeing you. Take care.